What is this? Can I see it? Get up. Oh. That is hard though. Mm. How do you feel? Alright, as alright as I can feel. We'll see after the game if I'm feeling okay, good, bad. That's the time I'll have. You're a bit stressed, eh? Yeah. Alex, a little bit. Yeah. Maybe next time we don't do a fitness lesson the day before. But apart from that, maybe it will help me feel a bit stronger. If I can push the pain, or maybe it will be a bit of a mistake. We'll find out now. night a lot of things that I have to work on but it was a good test of the fitness component which I'm trying to work on and improve and he's a lot fitter than me and kudos to him and one of the things that I really enjoy about him was that after the game he gave me advice so he's a CrossFit trainer so we spoke about a lot of the things I need to work on in terms of well, from a fitness perspective and I think that the part about it is when someone is playing so well and you're not fit you start going for shots you start playing a lot of risky squash and that's what happened I went for a lot of shots which were not on because I was trying to get the game going especially in the second game I think you won 14-12 made a lot of mistakes but I think after that one I think my legs just felt 
heavy and mentally I had lost it. It was a one learning moment of what to do, not to do, I have to do what to do, what not to do. But yeah, just reaffirms my, not assumption, but my my calculation that I need to work on my fitness. So with fitness comes not only fatigue of the muscles, but fatigue of the mind. And when things aren't going well and you're breathing heavy, you lose focus on the other small things, such as doing a split step, holding your racket up, you know, making sure that you breathe properly. Even in that sense, a lot of things basically fell to the wayside, technique fell to the wayside, strategy, tactics fell to the wayside because really it came to a point where I was really taxed physically um, on my body because he just kept the ball in play and he kept fetching everything and I wanted to go for, you know, riskier shots. So even then going for riskier shots, maybe I was snatching at something, you know, in anticipation to try to win a quick point instead of playing the rally out and waiting for that opportunity. A lot of things went wrong. A lot of things went right afterwards in terms of learning as well. But at the end of the day, fitness is the most important thing to watch. So going to a tournament, what I need to try work on is obviously a lot of things that I need to do beforehand. So a lot of stretching, really focus on the warm up, really focus on, focus on the warm down because it's going to be tough squash over three days. I need to focus on the nutrition and the hydration part, recovery as well. Obviously, a week, it's a week before the tournament. I can't improve my fitness significantly. I can obviously get really good at all the other things, start tweaking a lot of small things like my movement, specifically just the split step and racket preparation. But I'll be thrown into deep water again. I'll be thrown into a pool of players which are, you know, maybe not as fit as run, but play really high caliber squash. And I can't just go for quick points and quick wins because they'll punish me for that. So I just, I think it's actually a, a nice opportunity to reset, to rethink and learn good habits by watching some of the really good players that I'm going to be playing against, but also see what they do to prepare, see how it is that they you know, handle situations when they play tough opponents and they are not doing as well as they think that they're doing. How is it that they adjust their mindset, um, how much fitness plays a role in their ability to play so well. So a lot of learning to do as well over the next week. So I believe from the first video or the first time I recorded weight, which was two weeks ago, I weighed in about 92 kgs, 91.9, very close to the 90 mark. I think I was 90.1 last time I weighed in. So over this week, I should get to sub 90, hoping to get to about the 89 kilogram mark, which will still be obviously a lot heavier than I need to be. But from there, we can work on down. So still working on my movement, still going to the gym, still trying to work on my cardio and my conditioning. I think maybe up until Tuesday, I can still try to maybe do a bit more volume when it comes to um, leg exercises. As Ruan suggested, obviously to increase and add more volume to my workouts, even if you know, it's just more about, the, since I am focusing on the fitness at this moment in time to just really get more volume so that my fitness can improve. And when I say fitness, obviously being able to endure long rallies, long or deep lunges when it comes to squash, also work on my team positioning a bit high up on the team instead of at the back, giving me opportunity to go or take less steps when I need to go fetch the ball. And then really gonna be focusing on my split step to give me that explosive movement to the front of the court, as well as to the side and to the back corners. Also I have changed a few things when it comes to grip, how I'm opening the racket, you know, opening the face a lot more to give me the opportunity to hit the ball without making a mistake and keep the ball in play. But these are all small things that I'm noting down and as I keep on changing and adding certain components to my game, it feels a lot better. Stay tuned so I can share the lessons learned and the hidings that I receive.